Hello, one and all. This is Locus Lovelocks. Welcome back to Outer Wilds. Not really 100% sure what I'm going to do this time. Let's take a look at what we what our what our options are and see what I'm most interested in doing. At some point, I would like to go and talk to some people again. And those coordinates. <sighs> the coordinates. You know, I had a thought last time that might be related to constellations. But I don't know. Because you can see some of the stars are brighter than others. They kind of form constellations. Just the thought I had. Let's grab our suit. Okay, let's take a look at the log. So, we found the probe tracking module. Uh, found out my coordinates marking the location of the eye of the universe, but we don't really know. Don't know where that is right now. Hmm. I passed through the electric barrier and reached the coral forest at the planet's core. Right. And then also we um, completed the Tower of Quantum Trials. Remember the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. So there was the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. This tower located on Brittle Hollow's equator held useful knowledge for Nomai embarking on their first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. The Nomai noticed a strange rock shard that appeared to wander when no one was watching. Okay, I mean, that's a possibility going for the Quantum Moon. I think a lot of you are interested in seeing that. More to explore at the station. Yeah, we found a way to get back to the Northern Glacier, right? The Nomai were able to warp here from the White Hole Station. This is where they first recreated warp technology. Um, there's the Sunless City that we could go back to. And also that kind of goes along with the coordinates. Because I feel like there might be something at the Twins. Sealed something away inside the core of Ash Twin. Yeah, we kind of saw inside of it, right? Those masks. So that's a possibility. Where's the my shuttle? Yeah, so there's the interloper as well. To the Nomai located a fissure in the ice on the interloper's sunward side. They descended in inside to investigate. We could go back to the interloper. There's the vessel, which I believe is on Dark Bramble, to check out. Also, the other thing that I kind of forgot about on Giant's Deep was... Um, there was a couple of other things, right? A couple of other islands that we didn't really check out. And it says inside the seed. When I launch my scout into the seed that crashed on Timber Hearth, it ends up somewhere in Dark Bramble. And that's green, so it's connected to this somehow. As in probably part of Giant Steep. So there was the statue thing, right? Statue construction area. And then there was another island that we didn't totally explore because I fell. Quantum Moon. Uh, kind of going along, going along with, um, diving a bit deeper into each place. I think I might go to Giant's Deep this time. Again, and just explore the rest of it as much as possible before we move on. I know it took me a while to get started, but I kind of wanted to just reassess things. So let's... Giant's Deep. <laughs> it's so reassuring. Okay. Should be able to autopilot now. Um, there was only one of the island, one of the shards on, uh, on Giant's Deep, right? There's no distress beacons. We could track the distress beacons down. 
There's also just more Outer Wilds uh, explorers that we could check out. There's so many different things to do. I love it. And I just, I love that I'll get, I'll get just distracted and interested in something else and just have fun exploring that for a little while. Um, I think that's one of the really cool things about this world. Lots of mysteries. I don't want to be going too fast. Okay. Oops. So we've already explored that island completely. Explored that island completely. As far as I know. Now, where are the other ones? Okay, now I've just gone around in a circle, haven't I? Okay. Aha, there's one. Can I land? Now this is where we fell, right? So let's try this again. Okay. That's looking kind of like those same color as the uh, the squid things. No, um, scout launcher. Photo mode. So we have to go this way. Now, this is where I fell, I think, right? On the next jump. There we go. So there's more of the ghost matter. Which we still need to kind of unlock the secrets behind the ghost map. Oh, so it is, um... It's like frozen. It's frozen squid things. Frozen, eh? Oh! There's a camp here. Okay. Trip four, entry number whatever. Crashes two. Boring crashes zero. Remember to see Slate when I get back. Ha ha ha, yeah, yeah, all the way down to the core. Consider yourself conquered, Giant Steve. You just got a Feldspard. That was one of my more dramatic feats, if I do say so myself. Can't believe I wasn't electrocuted. Ah, uh, can't wait to tell Hornfells and Gosan about this one. I guess brute force isn't always the answer. Right, so that's one more off the list. Seems all that's left is the big one now. Dark Bramble, here I come. So this is supposed to give you a tip as to how to get to the core, I guess. And that's all, the, that's all that this is about. I guess. As far as I can tell. Okay. So then let's... Let's try to get to the Nomai statue construction thing. Oh, we won't be able to jump on, on those, right? Because it's going to puncture our suit. Uh-oh. 
We're going up. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. This could potentially be really bad. Let's get in there before it comes back down. Ow. Oh, that hurt us? Bramble Island. Okay, so it is connected to Feldspar and the ocean depths. An island of thorny vines and what appears to be a frozen jellyfish. It looks like Feldspar compared, uh, camped here, sorry, before heading off to Dark Bramble. Feldspar headed off to Dark Bramble after reaching the core of Giant's Deep. Maybe we should do the same. The f hell? Am I just like stuck here now? <laughs> this is... This is most unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying everything, guys. I guess you have to wait. I can't. <laughs> and of all the things, it's like. No, I don't want to open the hatch. Oh, God. Out of all the things that could happen, maybe I should just kill myself. Well, we're going to wait a little bit longer and see if we're picked up, because that might get us off. But it's like we're... It's like we're trapped inside of these brambles. As the ship shakes. Oh, med kit and refuel jetpack. There we go. I didn't even notice that. So I don't have to put the suit away every time, and that's how you can heal yourself. Perfect. Can I, like... Something happening? All right, I'm just gonna end it. How are we stuck? <laughs> I gotta see this. <laughs> uh. Let's just take a picture of that. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, what do we do? Maybe I could find the other island? Or there's one of them. Oh, the ghost matter. You know what? Let's see what happens if we go into the ghost matter. That's a fresh way that we haven't died yet. Almost looked like we were getting frozen. Well, that was really interesting. <laughs> so let's see if we can get to the, uh, let's see if we can get to the, the statue island. Ah, oh shoot. Uh, 
Uh. I don't know. Well, and there's something that flies off of that. That's the moon. Oh man, I wish I could have like gotten. I could for some reason I couldn't take out my um, my probe launcher. Was I hitting the wrong button? Maybe it's possible. It looked like something um, was rotating around the moon. Okay, let's 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 go again. Twin, okay. So we're heading towards Giant Steep, anyways. Yeah, I was hitting the right shoulder button, but it wasn't, uh, I wasn't equipping the scout launcher. I wanted to take a picture. Okay. Oh, okay. That's that's the island we got stuck on. That's the construction yard. Now, where was that other island? Let's try going this way. I should just go up higher. Wait, what's this? Okay. Must be our uh, fellow adventurers ship. That's kind of cool, but we can't get in, right? No. Okay. Well, there you go. Something neat. Something different. Oh god. Get up there. Oops, went a bit too high. Okay. Uh, the Statue Island. I'm not crazy. It was here, right? This is like going back all the way to the beginning of the playthrough. Is this it? Ah, is this it? I think this is it. Oh, I see. So we could teleport here. But why don't we just land up here? No brambles to get stuck on this time. Any signals? Nah, just our just our guy. Mm 
looks like... Okay, right. We haven't been down there. So I remember we died kind of ran out of time. We got here. Oh my god, don't get stuck again. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember we came this way. And then we saw this thing, and I was, we were wondering what the hell it might be. Okay. So does that mean the entrance is over there? So we know we can walk up that wall. Okay. Statue workshop. Oh, I see the crystal to open it. It's busted. This whole thing's busted. Okay. I remember that now. It makes a lot more sense because we, we found it so early on. It didn't really make sense to me at the time. But we found other doors. Oh, this might help us. Oh, and we ended up going here. I see. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if we can access... I wonder if the island has to be lifted up, or... Alternatively. I'm gonna jump into the water. Maybe there's a way in from below. Hundred percent is perfect. It's so funny that there's a door there too. Okay, so we've not been in here before. Is this gonna open? It does work from this side. Okay, cool. Should still have plenty of time. Or bodies. Looks like they were working on new statues. That one? Uh, does that one look different? Flocks? I assume it's flocks. Could be plocks, I guess. Yarrow. Would you kindly step back so Daz is closest to the statue? When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. Flox. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in this star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send them to the Ash Twin Project. Okay, that's what the Ash Twin Project is, recording the memories. Yarrow, this is extraordinary sculpting work, uh, Flox. Daz, he has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. 
Daz, each statue will send a signal, a single Nomai's memories, to his or her own storage unit within the Ash Twin. Flocks, each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those stored memories back to the corresponding Nomai. So that's what we saw. Some of them were lit up and some of them weren't. So this would be the Nomai, the statue, and then the project. Okay, good. Which one's this? Ash Twin Projection Stone, which we've seen before, right? Remy. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin project, Flox. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. Raimi says, It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Flox, ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds, as a safety measure. However, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. Raimi, they will? What, why is that? Flux, if anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. Raimi, I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fake that would be. Uh, fix it, otherwise it would be possible. Kind of like we were. <laughs> so this should um, take us there, right? One, two. Kind of hard to tell. Looks like there's three, four activated. Some of them are dark. Okay. We didn't make it up there, right? Huh. Can we jetpack our way up? Hope so. Maybe not, though. No, we don't have enough. Maybe if we lose, if we get thrown up, though, into space. Kind of sucks having... Maybe I could jump across? Kind of sucks having to try to wait for that. But off the top of my head, I can't think of another way to get up there, and I'd like to. There's no way we can make that jump. Maybe with the ship. I don't know if there's like a sign that we're about to be picked up. Okay, there's one getting close. Pick us up. Come on. Yes. Oh! Oh! Ow. 
That'll hurt you. That'll, that'll wake you up in the morning. Phlox, I'm curious. Is sending a being's memories back in time the same as sending the being itself back in time? Oh. Ow. Whoa, that was weird. Oh, time keeps stopping because I'm reading things. That's why it's acting all strange. If I move, time resumes. Phlox. As an example, if we were to send my memories back in time, is that the same as sending me back in time? Not my physical body, but my essence. That's a good question. Daz, I imagine there are two different actions. Cassava, wouldn't both actions be effectively the same? Daz, suppose that time was being rewritten. I believe this is different than receiving memories from what is effectively the future. Cassava, but isn't the end result identical in either case? Really interesting question. So that's true. We're not like, it's not like we're being actually sent back in time. It's just our memories that are being sent back because we paired with the statue, right? Cool. I'm glad I decided to come here. And I think, as far as I know, now I think that's all there is here to check out. Um, so what do we do next? I guess we could go back to our friend. And just report what we've discovered. See what they have to say. There they are. I should have used the signal tracker. Cabro. Cabro always puts a smile on my face. Hey, yo, time, buddy. It's a good thing I never get bored of rain, huh? I found something. Nice. Oh my god, it's happening. <laughs> He's just playing. He's just, he doesn't. He, she, they. They just have no. No care in the world. Uh, so that would mean that they're paired as well with one of the statues. Okay. Uh, hello again. Uh, again? Nice, nice. What you, what you got for me? Oh, shoot. I reached the inside of Statue Island. Are you about to be picked up again? Just went by. So the Nomai created those head statues to record memories, huh? Yeah, I could see the Nomai doing that. Not sure what for, but it seems like their sort of thing. Do you think the statues are recording our memories then? Because I remember that one on the beach. Looked at me funny. That must, that must be my memory friend. That's all you have to say? Okay. Portal probe cannon. <laughs> Over enthusiasm. Kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slate or Feldspar would do. Pretty surprised though I built something that actually broke. Come to think of it though, broke might be the wrong word because it looks like the orbital probe cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time loop. So that's it. I think I guess that's it here. Cool. It feels good to kind of complete one of the planets. Is 
Statue Workshop. Now, my statues were designed to pair with a single user, record their memories, and send those memories to a, stra to a storage unit. So it's a strange storage unit within the Ash Twin project. Um, each storage unit inside the Ash Twin project was equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which could then send those stored memories back to the corresponding user. The statues were designed to only activate once the Ash Twin project succeeded, or in the event that it failed. Every memory recorded by a Nomai statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within Ash Twin. So cool. So cool. Okay. What do we want to do next? I'm just gonna I'm gonna take off and see what catches my fancy. Oh god. As I get stuck again. Well, let's go to Dark Bramble. <laughs> it's the first thing I saw. Well, we still have time. I guess I could go to the Interloper, too. This is the crack that uh, they were talking about, right? Oops. I don't see this crack. I, I guess the ship, once again, is just, it's in the way, right? One thing I did kind of want to try was um, following the interloper. Because there's this, there's this structure that appears to be... Like right by the sun. And I have a feeling that... We might be able to ride the interloper to it. Let's just see what happens. And we're just going to fly right into it, aren't we? Is it actually flying right into the sun? Holy crap. It just flies right into the sun. I never noticed that. Huh. Very curious. Because I saw that the orbit was taking it around the sun. But maybe it changes and or maybe because the sun expands, it, it takes it takes it into the sun. Hmm. Curious. <gasps> also, I wonder. Does the probe, the final probe, shoot in the direction of the eye as well? Those stars are just so conspicuous to me. Hmm. But I'm going to wrap up this episode here, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. This is Luckless Lovelock signing out for now, and I love you all.